Yo ho! <clears throat> the excellent adventure. Getting ready to get get going here soon. Just thought we'd make one last video before I get on the road. Uh, kind of going over a couple of little things I uh, had to hit on at the last minute. Uh, you know, the last hike, let's just talk about that real quick. Uh, you know, I had a couple equipment malfunctions and uh, turns out that uh, merino wool shirt, I, you know, I told you it was tight fitting. Um, get them two sizes too big. I'm sending that one back. It, uh, I got a heat rash, that set me back a week. So even though the, I'm ready for the trip equipment wise, body wasn't quite ready. Uh, so I got two more merino wool shirts, that's gonna be enough. I'm not, not gonna worry about getting another one. Kind of disappointing. So if, if you do buy one, uh, you know, maybe they're made in China. <laughs> so, but they're they're two they're two sizes too small. It's more like a medium, and and get I'm gonna be getting a double extra large. I think we talked about that. So let's just go over a couple last minute items. Uh, first is uh, another equipment malfunction: bear spray. Uh, you know, I you, you get you get out and you do these day hikes, you know, and you, it gets in your head. And I thought, you know, I wonder if there's an expiration on these. And I looked, and there's no expiration date on the bottle. But it turns out these are only good for about three three to five years. I think this is 20 years old. <laughs> so, so I went to get some more and uh, you can't find it, you, you can't buy it. Uh, I, I did order some, it's gonna come in October, but uh, that's gonna be after my trip, so it ain't gonna do me any good. I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna try it, you know, when I get out in the forest and, uh, well, it either works or it doesn't. If it doesn't, it's, you know, garbage, so. Uh, another thing was, a friend of mine asked me, he says, how, Kirk, how are you gonna charge your cell phone? Well, I had this uh, Bolt Power, uh, jump starter in my car. Uh, not a good idea, this lithium battery. I don't know why, you know, sometimes we're just plain stupid, at least I am. And uh, so the heat, it, the battery actually expanded. And that's why this bungee cord <laughs> is around the darn thing. And I'm surprised it works at all, but it's still working. And uh, I, well, anyway, Short story long, don't leave your cell phone or any other lithium batteries in the car. Uh, but this is this is pretty cool. You know, it's a flashlight, it's a jump starter, uh, and you can use it to charge the phone. Um, so, a uh, quick, quick jump start story. <laughs> so, so I'm coming down to Virginia from Michigan, and uh, I talked to the rangers there in Ohio, and I said, hey man, I'm looking for a place off the grid to camp. Uh, and uh, they gave me these directions, and I thought, wow, well, you know, I guess I can find it. Man, I, I bet it took me an hour and a half. It got dark before I even got to this place. I was so far off grid, I didn't even know where I was, but I found the campsite. And uh, in the old days, I used to use the truck battery, which is, you know, big, big battery, to use the headlights to set up camp, because uh, you want some light. And I did the same with the car, not thinking, you know, there's little batteries in the cars. You can't leave the headlights on. And so I look back, the lights are getting dim. I was like, oh man. So I run back to the car, you know, and I cut it off real quick and, and then I hit it. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. I said, like, oh my God. I, I mean, I'm like 10 miles. I, I don't even know, you know, knock on a farmer's door and, uh, you know, they're going to shoot me. But I, I, I would have been fine that night. I would, you know, but the next day I was thinking, oh my God. And then how are you going to get a tow truck back there? Can you imagine the cost to tow that? Oh yeah, yeah, you got to drive 150 miles to get to my car in the middle of the National Forest. Uh, so that's when I bought this uh, jump starter. Because uh, jumper cables ain't gonna do you no good if you can't find another car to, to come drive into the forest and nobody wanted to get back in there because I was on these in a gravel road and everything else. I, I did get it started obviously and I drove it up and down the road and I just got the car filthy. In fact, I, I plugged up the air filter. Uh, it was just a disaster. So that, once again, trip. You know, I bought this, uh, this is another one, this is another Halo charger. I was trying to back up this one since it's kind of damaged. Um, I thought this I could use it to back up my, or uh, charge up the laptop, but um, I guess this only goes to, to 60 volts or 60 watts. And uh, so it won't charge the laptop, but I can use it to do the uh, AA batteries because you just plug that charger into the AC here. Uh, and it's great for cell phones. So I'm not gonna send it back. Uh, and it is it is a jump starter, so I can jump start the car with it. And I, I know this battery is gonna give me a lot more, a uh, lot longer duration, pretty hefty. Um, this is, uh, this is an old military uh, uh, Camelback. You know, so I thought I'd take this for day hikes, and uh, so I'll have that along with me. And you know, it's already full of water. Obviously, you can't, you can't carry enough water. You got the five-gallon jug somewhere in here. Well, it's over there in the corner. Uh, 
And then this is a nice camping light. I bought, uh, you can get these at Amazon. They're, they're still for sale. Four for, they're pretty inexpensive, but the thing I like, it takes four AA batteries, rechargeable. I can just keep recharging those batteries with these. And uh, I got plenty of light for the trip and sit at the picnic table and eat when it's getting dark or, uh, you know, read a book, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> didn't talk about the, the auto. Uh, when you're doing a trip like this, you got to make sure that car is tip top shape. I mean everything. All, the air filter's clean. Uh, you, you've got an alignment check or, or had it aligned. Mine was slightly out of alignment because I'm taking the SUV as my wife's car. Uh, you know, uh, everything on it detailed. The tires are in perfect shape. You know, just just the other night I was checking the uh, wiper blade. And uh, I, you know, the way I check them is, you know, I go until they, they explode. And uh, so I'm pulling on it. And if that rubber pulls loose, boom, you know, it's done. And it pulled loose. And so it was a good thing I checked it because so I put a new wiper blade on it. Otherwise, if I'd left earlier in the week, which is what I had planned, um, well, I, I would have been without a wiper blade, and then where are you going to find an auto parts store in the middle of the National Forest? There's another thing I wanted to recommend. This is called Meguiar's Paint Protect. It's not the, it's not a wax. It's a, I, I guess it's just Meguiar's Paint Protect. That's the only thing I know what know to call it. This stuff is like golden. You know, when you're out in the forest, you're going to get pine sap on your car. You're going to drive through a field of bugs, and they're just going to just mash into your radiator. You know, uh, you're going to you're going to be in, it's going to be a dust bowl. It's going to be a mud bowl everything you know so that car is just going to get beat to hell and uh you want to just lather this stuff on everywhere i mean on the vinyl on on the on the plastic uh, all over the 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 only thing you're not going to do is put it on the glass. You are going to wax the glass, though, because that'll make that pine sap easy to get off. So you put use a regular car wax on the glass of the car. And that way, when you get to wherever it is you're going, I'm going up to my mom's house in Virginia, I'll be able to just, just that stuff will just wipe right off. I'll clean that car up and, you know, a lot sooner. Otherwise, you're going to be out there with a chisel trying to get that stuff off. Um, this is another camera that I had. Uh, this got a 30, 33 zoom. Uh, we'll get some pictures of the phone, which is what I'm filming with, and then uh, and pictures of the camera. It's old. Probably the the, the camera uh, on the phone has got a better zoom than this. Who knows? I, I don't know. Um, the, uh, this is an old thing I bought. This is a solar panel. I thought it would be a great, uh, and it does work uh, for charging up your phone. The, the problem is it comes with a little short cord, and, and back then, you know, it's not a Type C uh, uh, cable, and it's only about this long. So what happens is you get this in the sunlight, and, and then you put the phone out there. If the phone's in the sunlight, it's going to overheat the phone, and uh, so you got you're constantly, you know, the sun's moving across. So you're constantly moving this to try to get it in the sun and keep the phone in the shade. It's just a ridiculous setup. I don't. Know who thought it up if you're gonna if you're gonna make this then then give a nice long cord I, I, and i guess you know maybe the longer the cord the more the resistance and maybe the charging factor goes down could be um this is another thing uh, i am going to take some cds i know cds i'm an old fart and uh but when you're out in the forest you're not a lot of times you're not going to have any cell phone reception i understand i can download all that music to my phone i'm kind of trying to keep as much space as possible for videos so yeah, I'll just listen to CDs if I don't have radio. You're only going to get like two radio stations a lot of times. Uh, I Also, um, for a trip like this, finances. Make sure everything is paid in advance. You say, well, you can pull into a McDonald's with your laptop and get on the Internet and pay your bills. Yeah, yeah, you could. Uh, well, with coronavirus, I don't want to go in any McDonald's, number one. And, and number two, you don't know. Uh, whether you you know suppose the, the website is down or you're having your your laptops having problems uh you, you know whatever I, which has happened i mean every seems every trip something something breaks something goes wrong so i wouldn't be able to pay my bills until i get to mom's place and you know if, if, if they're due in two weeks and i'm out on the road for a month for whatever reason I'm, you know that's that's another uh thing in your head that you have to think about on, on for your trip how are you treating the trip? I'm treating this like the apocalypse. I'm saying the living dead are walking the streets. I'm saying we're gonna have a financial catastrophe, which I believe we are. I honest to God think we are. And if that happens while I'm on the road, you know, we've got riots in the cities. We've got the coronavirus out there. 
I'm treating this as my this is my bug out plan right here is all this stuff. So I want to stay as far away from people as I can possibly get, and that's what the uh, the one of the point points or the purpose of this trip is. And if the you know the the stuff does hit the fan, at least I can come. I got hopefully I can make my way back home. That's another thing is your fortress of solitude. You want to come back to a fully stocked house. I've been working on stocking this house up with everything I could think of so that when I, if I do have to come back, let's say I, I get halfway and the apocalypse happens. Well, I, you know, I want to be able to come back here. Uh, you know, maybe there's people rioting in the streets and who knows what you're going to try to get back through to get to your, your fortress of solitude. But, you know, the tr bushes are trimmed. The gutters are cleaned. You know, everything has to be done. Otherwise, you know, my wife, I, God bless her, she'll, she'll go out and hire somebody and pay them $300 to do all this stuff, you know, when I'm perfectly capable of, of doing it myself. Um, so we kind of kind of talked about the car, you know, you got the house, got the finances, uh, the, uh, all the batteries, you know, I, I didn't tell you, the uh, I bought the envelope, Panasonic envelope batteries. I think they're the best, uh, I've tried some other rechargeable batteries and maybe 50 charges. These things are supposed to charge uh, 2,100 times, these Panasonic batteries. I couldn't tell you if, what that limit is because I'm still using them and I bought some of them a couple years ago and they're still going strong. So I, I, I got nothing but kudos for them. So that's, that's the ones that I use. I talked about the, oh, the bike rack, oh man. Uh, that's another thing. You can't find them anymore. My wife decided to get into an accident. I don't know if I talked about it in the early videos. And the bike rack got destroyed. Well, I had a top-of-the-line bike rack and had it for this trip. And so I went to get another one. You can't find them. They're all made in China, as usual. Uh, but I found one at a local bike shop down the last one, the last one he had in stock. Now, the insurance did cover some of the cost, but not all of the cost. So, you know... Once again, you got to plan these trips way in advance, and you never know what's going to happen. Um, I guess uh, the, the, another thing is uh, with the car, uh, with your preparation. I had a little money around in the car. I got little niches, you know, 20 here, 20 there. Uh, it's always good to have. I, I just give an example. I was at Firestone when they were doing the alignment. Uh, I didn't have to pay for it. I paid for lifetime alignments years ago. And uh, so when they were done, they said, hey, you know, do you want this? work done. I said, yeah, go ahead. What the heck? I would you know, get the car in tip, 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 top shape. And uh, I realized that I didn't have my wallet. <laughs> it was in my car. The SUV is my wife's car. So luckily I pulled out the stash, the cash, and was able to pay the bill. And so it's always good to keep some money in the car, especially on a long trip like this. Uh, I guess that's probably enough. So... Okay, I'll tell you, we'll, we'll call it a day there. I'll try to get some video of me loading up the car. Uh, and that's, look at that. Isn't that pitiful? I've spent like two months, you know, working out, getting in shape, buying stuff, going through the gear, going through the garage, cleaning the house, working around, and this is all I got to show for it. I mean, this is going to fill up maybe the back of the car and the back seat. And, uh, of course, oh, I didn't talk about the cooler. Yeah, let's get the cooler. This is that one I was telling you about. Look at this monster. I mean, that is well built. I'm going to put two 22-pound bags of ice. That's another thing with the ice. Leave it in the bag. The ice, for what? I can't explain it. But the ice doesn't melt when if you leave it in that plastic bag. If you take that ice and just dump it down in there with, and throw the plastic bag away, boom, it's going to melt a lot faster. So I'm going to leave it in, in the plastic bag and put the two bags down in here. You know, it's got the little sandwich tray here. Uh, so, you know, it's all not backpacking food. You can't eat that stuff forever. So I'm going to be sure and have some stuff. It only lasts, you know, a week. So at least the first week of the trip, I'll be getting some home, home cooking, home brewing food. Uh, but uh, this, I, I, this should work out well. Place to sit. If you know, if I don't have a nice picnic table, I can sit on here, do, read my book. You know, get get up next to the. Well, I wouldn't put it next to the fire. <laughs> but but anyway, and this is this is why I can leave it. I don't have to put it in the car. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, you know, the bike pump. By the way, uh, you don't have to have one of these. I'm not suggesting everybody buy one of these. In fact, the thing I hate about these is I don't think there's any way to replace the battery in here. So I'm just gonna have to chuck this when it's done. And even now with it expanded, I've already damaged the battery. So I don't know how much longer this is gonna last. And so what do you do? I guess you just throw the whole thing away. Uh, I'll take it to Best Buy and, and 
put it in the thing for recycling. But um, what else are you going to do? I hate throwing away, and it's, it's such a, we're so wasteful. In everything we do, I mean, we throw away these whole devices. You can't even, why can't I? That's why I'm sticking with AA batteries, like the radio that I bought. It takes four or, yeah, four, four or six AA batteries. And like, you buy the rechargeable batteries, I can, I can recharge them batteries 2,100 times and stick them in that radio, and that radio is good to go for years on, on just a few batteries. And I don't, I don't have to throw the radio, unless the radio dies on me, but that's the radio I'm taking along. I think I showed it to you in an earlier video. Video, but stuff like that. So that's why I'm trying all my gear with the headlamps, the radios. I'm making sure it's either AAA batteries or AA batteries. Now I've tried the size D rechargeable batteries. Uh, they don't work and plus you don't want to carry all that weight and the batteries are too big anyway. So I don't buy anything that takes a D battery and the C batteries are even more ridiculous. I mean who uses C batteries for anything anymore? You know, if you've got that stuff in your house, get rid of it, man. Go out and buy an LED flashlight. It takes two AA batteries, and it and probably does a lot better. And I would suggest the headlamps, the, the, the nice headlamps and REI, not the regular little, you know, mag lights. So, but you go with whatever you want. And then this is a, I don't know if I talked about this already, but this is a pump that just plugs into that. And so I can pump with the tires. I already used it. You know, yeah, you can use this, but you got to pump it about 50 times to get a few pounds. <laughs> which is a good workout if you're trying to get some exercise but all righty man peace see you on the trail one more video and then we're on the road